I'm Joe. And I'm Ben. And we're the, the Bourbon, Bourbon Boys. Boys. Let's pour a glass. Welcome back <laughs> to Bourbon Boys. We're here. We're so glad to be here. I'm overjoyed. He's overjoyed. Yeah, man. Like a macho man, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like, is that Kool-Aid? Kool is that Kool-Aid and so Macho Man? It's the same thing. <laughs> so, we have today uh, Will Cott Rick House Reserve that my son um, picked up for me uh, somewhere. That's a good boy. In, and I, I know he picked up Total Wine, but I can't remember exactly where he was when he picked <laughs> it up. I think he was down like Louisville or somewhere. Uh, he might have been at Frank, in Frank, he might have been uh, at Fort Knox. Ah, um, yes. But uh, my son is going to be mildly, I guess, maybe irritated because I think he wanted to do this one with us. But, you know, Oops. he's chose instead to go to Miami University yeah. to hang out with his friends who's having a party. So well, what can I tell you? There you go. You snooze, you lose. I don't have to tell him. Yeah. He can try something else with us, but we're there drinking this one tonight. <laughs> so this is their a Rick House Reserve. This is uh, made by uh, Barton. So 1792, distilled at 1792 Barton. And this one is... Um, 120 proof. I don't, I don't know exactly what all else it is, but this is a store brand for Total Wine. So I know we got it at Total Wine because this is their brand that they source, and I believe they source most of it at Barton for the Wilcott. There's a whole line of this. Uh, there's a 90 proof. There's a bottled and bond, and, and I don't know what all else they have with it because I don't. We don't have Total Wines around here. No, we don't at all. So. Um, in Cincinnati or Ohio at all, because it's. Uh, but anyway, um, we like 1792, we and do. it's possible we maybe have nipped at this a little bit. Ben has not. I have not, so this is completely fine. But yeah, my son and my we had some right, so it's not like he's missing. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's fine. He'll be alright. A lot of alcohol in the nose. Yeah, and it's kind of soft. Sometimes like this, I, I know we always drink it in the in the rocks glasses, but sometimes it, I think we should put it in a better sniffer. I like oh, the little yeah. sniffer. I like the little brandy sniffers. I do enjoy drinking out of those. They sit in my hand nicely. <laughs> feels so like fancy. That. I know, and, it makes, and I can swirl it a little bit like this. It makes me feel look like I know things. <laughs> First sip. That hits nice. I mean, you can taste the proof on it, but it's certainly not overproofed. Yeah, definitely have at a, 120. A, little, a little bit of a burn. Just to enough it. to get, let you know that that's it's there. It gives it warm, but it really, I get like a light fruity. Yeah, what is that? Like lighter. Definitely on the lighter side of things. Yeah, it's uh, not getting a lot of like dark, heavy brown sugars or molassesy stuff. Mm. Or not heavy oak. Mm -mm. Getting lighter fruit, lighter fruits. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I have not had any of the other Wilcott stuff, and I haven't heard a lot of good things about it. Oh. But I'm going to tell you this. I like this. This is pretty damn tasty. <laughs> pretty ding dang tasty. Pretty I'm gonna tell you. Dang good. So I'm gonna tell you. Ding dang delicious. All right. I think I'm gonna finish sipping this. I think so. And we may, because we already talked about it, but we may do a little side by side a comparison, comparison. Yes. with the Might Barton well. 792 full proof. It's a few proof points higher, five. So it's a little higher, but right around the same. Yeah. This is a store pick one. So we've yeah. had several store picks of the 1792 foolproof, and I like those. I have a shelfer of 1792 foolproof. Not so good. No, hugely disappointed yeah. in that. Um, it just, it's just hot. It was yeah. just, and yeah. every once in a while I break it out, try it again, and, and I've had it for Still. a couple of years. It's just hot. Mm. <laughs> it's, just, it's just all alcohol, and we, we did we did a review on it, and I was yeah, super did. disappointed with it, but. Uh, we haven't done the store picks. No, we haven't. But we, I, I've had several store picks, and this is one. I think I picked this up for you down in Lex, down in uh, Somerset, okay. Kentucky. And uh, um, 
we're going to compare it with that one, I think. But we're going to finish this first. We'll be back. So, woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, so we have poured some 1792, foolproof in this one. Store pick from Apples, Apples. Wine and Spirits. I've never heard of it. I've been there, obviously, but uh, obviously. I don't know. Obviously. All right, so we were kind of, I kind of thought these would be somewhat similar, somewhat similar, both being from Barton, yeah. but not at all. No. <laughs> not even a comparison. Mm -mm. This is light, and so we talked about it, so that it's a light for kind of apple as well. Yeah, apple and, and maybe pear, pear, or a maybe bit. a little tart. It's a little tart. It's almost like a like granny, a sweet tart, like a gran yeah, granny. Yeah, maybe Smith Granny apple, Smith, maybe. maybe. Yeah, it's ah, super like light. It. It's, it's yeah, it is. It is very nice. It's very, very light, nice, very and nice sweet, light flavor with just like a little tart mm -hmm. kick to it. Mm -hmm. And the alcohol on it, it's one twenty. Uh, I mean, you can taste it's one twenty. You can definitely it does, taste, but it certainly doesn't overpower it. No, we got a little bit here for a minute, but that went away. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But you probably can't see on camera, but. The color difference on these, this is a light, yeah, a lot lighter, a light golden color, and this is a darker oh, amber color. Yeah, the uh, foolproof is much darker and ambery, and for only five proof points of so two and a half percent more alcohol, I can really taste the alcohol on this one. It's it's alcohol prominent, again. pretty forward on the yeah, on the nose, yeah. and it kind of mutes. The flavor profile, I think, a little, a little bit on it, but the flavor profile you are getting from this one, it from the 1792 is uh, is much. It's darker. You're much getting, darker, you're much getting, richer. Right, you're getting more rich notes, more more caramely, more little barrel, I think, on it. And you get a little bit of that fruit, but it is the it is subservient yeah. to the darker, so, yeah, darker flavors. But all of it's subservient to the. Alcohol. Alcohol. Alcohol's pretty <laughs> pretty dominant there. Hmm. hmm. Well, that was mildly interesting. Yeah. But we're not really here That's right. doing Shoo -shoo. that one. We're getting that one over there. <laughs> don't worry, we'll finish that. We don't throw stuff. We throw no. stuff away. Once, once or twice. Once or twice maybe. It's gotta be yeah, it's, it's tough. Gotta be really I don't bad. Yeah, we're pretty cheap. I don't like to throw no, stuff no, away, no. but mm -hmm. sometimes it's not worth it. Wow, that alcohol. See so yeah, I just the finish, it hits you on the front, then you kind of get a little flavor on this one. I'm sorry, I'm going back to this one. <laughs> that's the last one I took. And then the alcohol just comes back in the finish and just, it kinda just, just coats lights everything. up your whole mouth yeah. with the alcohol, in which case I can't really taste much else. Yeah, which is a shame because it does have a really nice yeah. flavor that does come through. I bet if we add a little water to this, we might have to try that another an, time. Yeah. An ice cube, ice cube or a little water a little might water. settle that and let that yeah. come through. But this one for another time does not need that. No, I, I'm surprised because I kind of thought I would prefer this one over this one, and it's not even close. I prefer the Wilcott over the over the foolproof. Okay, I do. Yeah, I mean, in their current states, I would prefer the this one as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think with the, I, I do love the lower, the darker. Do you? Notes of that, yeah, I like the rich, the richer stuff. It just depends on what I'm in the. I like a. And little it's fall variety. time, yeah. you know. It's. I get that. Depends. I get that. But yeah, but yeah, right now, I'd say I'd go with that one. Yeah, that's super mm. good. I, I, I'm pleasantly surprised with this one, um, and I wish I could remember the dollar amount on it. I was just about to ask. And I was going to ask, and I, I, I paid for it, and now it's escaping me. <laughs> I want to say it was in like the sixty dollar range. Maybe you know what? 60, 70? Put it on pause for one second. One second. Boom! We're back. One second. Look at that. <laughs> um, I, I, as I was saying that, I'm thinking I almost remember my son. I was talking to him on the phone about picking it up, and it was like forty three bucks. Okay. So I, 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 was, I was thinking in my head it was like forty some dollars. So forty three dollars for one hundred and twenty proof whiskey, and it's yeah. it's yeah. nice, especially yeah. if you like the lighter a lighter. Um, flavor profile, yeah. which this one definitely is. And I, I don't know if I like it all the time, right? but I certainly like it as a change of pace, and and, mm -hmm. and this is pleasant to drink. Yeah. Very pleasant. Um, so, and you, also in that one second delay, we did add a little water to this one 
And wow, that made a huge it, difference. He had two drops it. of water yeah, to just two drops, to, that's it. to just yeah, like that much, like a, a half an ounce or so. Yeah. Yep. So, where Ben are you coming in on the Walcott Rickhouse oh, Reserve? Rickhouse Reserve. Um, yeah. So this is really tasty. It's very nice. It's got those light flavors that we haven't really been seeing a lot lately really? i don't think um so it was like you said a good change of pace i think that's uh kind of working in its favor but um for for flavor i'm gonna go with a three i think it's very good nice and light like you said mm -hmm. um and then for the value for only 40 something bucks that's i might go with a 3.5 or something that's Dude, cheap we are for, like God, we're on it that's exactly that, where i'm at it's very cheap for such high proof and yeah, right and this is right it's a high proof and it's coming in it, it's got a little heat on it but certainly not overwhelming right. heat at 120 which we've had them you know coming in very hot at this yeah. at that yeah, proof yeah. point uh I bring a, a, a different and very refreshing kind of flavor profile, which I enjoy. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Uh, and it, like I said, 40 some bucks, this is definitely a buy for me. Yeah. Um, I would buy another bottle of this because I, I like it. Although I have quite a bit left here. <laughs> I'll have to do something about that. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm right with you. It's a three. It's a definitely above average for me. Yeah. Is it in the realm of like some of the... Amazing much better uh, ones yeah. no but it is very nice, very nice and yeah. uh, it surprised me because i didn't expect to like it that much so that might be part of it too it came in with the low expectations ah, yes it could be so i'll go three but the value yeah 40 some dollars uh that's a that's a, that's a very good value. So i'll go with it, easily a three and a half yeah. on the value which uh, is good so boom okay. that's, that's all it. we got we rambled on a lot today this went on forever this is super it's all right long. we had two we had i'm sorry i apologize of. i'll shut up <laughs> thanks for watching thanks see, see ya time.